Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didita Yutu and in today's video, I am going to show you how we as a family book our hotels while we solely live on cryptocurrency and travel the world already for four years without having a bank account. So how do we use Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency to book our hotel rooms? I'm going to show you today again as we are now in a very beautiful place, Playa de Carmen in Mexico, already here for two months almost three months I think and this weekend we were invited to go to Mahahual something here in Mexico some kind of a place a Belgian Bitcoiner is there he's going to build a hotel he's like come on and visit us and I will show you around in Mahahual because the beaches are more beautiful the tropical the atmosphere all that stuff so I'm going to go to the laptop and I'm going to show you how I now normally do this if somebody invites me to come somewhere and I need to find a hotel while I do this, my beautiful wife, Romain, is reading a book about... This means that she wants to be a shaman and she is going to do a spell on me. She put a spell on me. What? I just want to learn about it. But is it like an educational book or what? No, it's just telling what shamanism is all about. But not teaching you to be a shaman. I just have read this. <laughs> so now it's like, what's it all about and why people do it and what they want to do. It is not that you're going to walk around with a puppet and stick needles in it to hurt me or something. I don't know. That we'll see at the end of the book. <laughs> no. Okay. She's preparing to become a shaman. I am already a shaman and I'm going to book a shaman hotel now. I'm going to search for hotel in Mahawal. Come, join me on this beautiful way. How I always... Oh, I need to take my drink. Um, how, how I handle this kind of situation because you as a newcomer maybe you don't even know that you can book hotels with Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, all those other currencies so I'm going to go to the camera now and then you know I'm, I'm working to now with this uh, program that's called uh, I forgot the name again OB OBS OBS is going to record my face on the screen while I visit those websites and you are going to look from that side Damn. yes it is recording. We are now on the 6th of May. We are going to look for a hotel in Mahahual. For the ones who don't know what Mahahual is, I will go and check first. My face is not like in the screen because I need to go to this one and then bam, that one. Yes, my face is in the screen. That's good. But it needs to be, I think, somewhere here in the bottom so that my big face is not in front of the beautiful images that I'm going to share with you guys. So, um, Mahahual, it's a village in Mexico, is uh, Google telling me, I'm going to just watch at the images because that is the thing that makes me excited, not the name. Look, this is where we want to go. Wow. That is really, really, really beautiful. Um, the internet is not that fast over here in Mexico. This is what you see now. It's kind of frustrating. So it's a beautiful island. Maybe even a little bit sunset over there. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a cool town. So we are going to visit this town, Mahahual. And where is it? It is here. If you look in the map, Mahahual Beach is over there. So and now we are somewhere. Where are we now? So we are now here, Playa de Carmen. So we need to drive all the way over there. If you look at the satellite view, it's even more beautiful. You see the blue waters. And we need to go there. And it will be, we are going to drive there. So let's see. We're going to drive from uh, uh, Playa del Carmen. So that's a three and a half hour drive, like 300 kilometers. Now we will take it easy to look around a little bit what, the, what is there. Um, so it's a three and a half hour drive. 
I just see that Bacalar is near that. Bacalar is also a, like a lake with seven colors. Maybe we can even visit that one. Uh, let's see. Maybe the trip is already too long. So let's go and uh, see how I find hotels. Because I'm talking too much again. Bam. This one. I need to check if my face is still okay. Um, I will put it now in the right top over there. So uh, then we are going to look. Mahahua, 7 May till the 10th of May. Two adults search. Let's see what we can find. Because they told me to book a hotel. I want to find that hotel. This one. Matan Khan by Guru Hotel. Because that should be a really good hotel. Uh, the Belgian friend is staying there as well. So we want to be together in that hotel. So that is why I'm going to book that hotel. And booking.com. Two times premium room. What is premium? I think we take superior. Yeah, because the kids, they need a little bit of space. So we will take a superior room. Two superior rooms will be at booking.com, 324 euros. That's inclusive breakfast and everything else. 324 euros. Okay, now I'm going to go to my notepad because that one that I needed as well. Bam, that one. And in my notepad, I'm going to write booking.com 324. 324. 324 euros in booking.com. Um, later. Now we are going to go and look at Travala. Travala.com. You can often book you over here. Um, I already booked many times over here. You can see I still have around 2,500 dollar in my wallet over there in, uh, in, in, in their currency, the Travala, the coin, um, so I can still use it to book. Um, I need to find the hotel. Hotel, what was the call? Matan, Matan Khan, 7 till 10 May, on Travala. We need to find the Matan Khan hotel. Matan Khan, Matan Khan, Matan Khan. Where are you? Where are you? I don't see Matan Khan. I don't think Travala has the Matan Khan Hotel. Let's look on the map. I think it is over there. Mahahual. Okay. Um, Travala.com only has two hotels and it's both not the hotel I need. Which is strange because Travala is normally a very good website and they work together with Booking.com. So normally I would say they should have this one um, on it. And Travala is really beautiful. You can, you, you know, you can pay um, with many cryptocurrencies, a lot of different cryptocurrencies, like you can see. Um, but it doesn't have the hotel. I can't uh, show you the price of that hotel because it doesn't have. It. Let's find the hotel here in this website, Excel Trip Maha Huwal Mexico. And we are going to arrive the seventh tomorrow. We're going to leave the tenth on Monday. We need. Uh, I always say two rooms with two adults because mostly that is what they find. If you add more kids and all the stuff, also in Booking.com, if you start to add children, other rooms pop up. So I always just search for the adults um, on exceltrip.com. The hotel is called, I think, this one, Cooks Matan. It has a different name. And, and, and Booking.com is Matan Khan. I recognize the room. Wait. Um, Cooks Mutan. Let's check to be sure if it is the same hotel. Yes, that is what we like. Mexican atmosphere. This hotel. Booking.com. Yes, it's the same hotel. You see? So on Excel trip, we found the same hotel. Now we need to check the price. Uh, we took the superior room at breakfast. So we will select this room. Two rooms. Three nights. The price will be 0 0.0076 BTC. I'm going to euros now to euro over there. That's 364 euro for three nights. 364 euro. So I'm going to write that down in my pad, in my notebook. So uh, booking was 324 euros. Travala uh, didn't have it. And Excel trip now has 364 euros. So Excel trip I can pay with crypto, but it is 
40 euros more expensive. Um, so that now becomes like a, a question. Huh? Are, are you going to do this? Are you going to book it over here? And they, sh they say that they have a discount, but they are still more expensive than booking.com. They have a calculator on the website uh, that, that I, of course, also have could have used. I just saw now. Um, hmm, that's like a difficult one. It's a very difficult one. I don't want to pay more because I um, use crypto. But on the other hand, if I need to exchange my bitcoins um, into fiat, so I have the exchange fee, then I need to send it to, for example, PayPal or something. And then I need to pay with PayPal or with a crypto debit card. So I have the fees over and over and over again. So in total, that could be also the 40 euro in fees. And as a Bitcoin believer and a Bitcoin hodler, uh, I prefer to support the community. So I prefer to pay directly with Bitcoins. So I will take the 40 euro, I think, for granted and just pay a little bit extra because, you know, I also want to show you um, how we support uh, cryptocurrency communities by doing this. So if I click reserve now over there, I will get this one. Still, my mobile number, my name is still correct, all the stuff. Yeah, the address is like not completely correct, but you know, what does matter? Uh, we don't have an address. And then I say complete the booking. Let's see if it works. And then when I complete the booking, it asks me how do I want to pay with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. I can pay in many ways. I need to pay in 15 minutes. So I don't have I, I, I don't have Excel tokens, so I need to pay with Bitcoin. I think it will give me a QR code then. And I will use my telephone, of course, to do this. And I'm sending my Bitcoins now. So I, the Bitcoins need to be there in 10 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes so 30 minutes uh, the transaction is still unconfirmed let's see what happens the transaction needs to come in if not then the book, booking is probably cancelled and then I need to uh, start to call Excel pay uh, you know I tried to pay but uh, uh, did the bitcoins arrive or not let's see how it works because uh, normally every block should be uh, converted in 10 minutes so that would should be fine but you never know in crypto this is the difficult part eh, that uh, we still don't have the transaction speed when it comes uh, to Bitcoin and Litecoin or the other ones I could have paid probably faster. Ah, that's very fast. <laughs> it already says payment successful. So Excel Pay is accepting the payment even before we have the confirmations in, uh, in my wallet, in my green wallet. That shows that Excel Pay completely trusts the, the the blockchain and the Bitcoin transaction. Payment successful. Um, I'm going to close this screen. I make a screenshot. Uh, close this screen. I have a booking now. So that's perfect. Uh, I booked a two times superior room, three nights, perfectly paid. This amount, it's all perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? Yes, I showed. My hotel booking, does it show up now? Upcoming, no, no, upcoming, <laughs> no bookings here. Okay, let's <laughs> see what happens because it said that I uh, paid the room. Uh, so probably I will receive a mail with the booking and all that stuff. Um, and then it will pop up over here. If not, you can always, of course, um, you know, ask the chat over there and I'm going to ask it when it's not showing up in a second let's see what happens i think it is booked but that is how we book hotels with crypto without a bank account if you enjoyed this video give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell share with your friends and family and leave a comment and as we love to respond to your comments let me know what you think about this is this too much work for you would you do it the same way or like my nah, diddy that will be a expensive holiday in the future because you you lost your bitcoins now um, let me know down below the video what you think about this. Uh, I'm going to thank you for watching this video and I'm going to tell you to always zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day like we are going to do in Mahawal uh, because that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!